Ladies and gentlemen, with the changes what we heard right from the moment that mentioned 2024, things have gone on a better turf, I would imagine. Especially with the confirmation of what kind of changes we should see as Simmers. What else do we have today? Plenty more coming. Yes, from the newest project of the Chinook, the astonishing command share from A2A and a lot more. Now before that, we had a huge surprise from the team of Microsoft and Wheeling Texas to us this morning. Before we dive right in, thanks for tuning in, I'm Chick Mangla. Quite often do we bring you a lot more areas that need your attention, so hit that subscribe button for future releases. By the way, we have the giveaway winners for last week's event, so stick around till the end. Continuing on Texas, this comes as a third installment on SETI updates in the world of development. We know what Texas is. Some of them have been there, including myself, who spent a few years. The second largest state in America, renowned for some most diverse and beautiful urban landscapes in the nation. Now, do we know Texas enough? A meticulously curated selection of urban regions representing the spirit of the Lone Star State, including Abilene, Austin, Cedar Park, San Antonio, Schertz, Temple and Waco. All these cities lie within or near the Texas Triangle, the area where most of the state's population reside and home to its more stunning architectural creations. Now, one of the interesting features is that the update was generated using aerial imagery collected in collaboration with partners that made a difference. If you haven't got this yet, make sure your sim is running on version 1.33.8.0 to download the latest city update. Moving to the marketplace this week, now known for a rather interesting MV22 Osprey. This time, the team of Miltech Simulations have been hands down developing the legendary CH-47 Chinook helicopter, an iconic heli-lift helicopter of the American origin, one of the heaviest lifting western helicopters and still in active service after more than 60 years since its introduction. Now this represents a significant undertaking for Miltech Simulations. The team claims that this will be the most detailed product to date in terms of 3D modeling with extensive detail both internally and externally. Towards another interesting project, now the A2A simulation showcase at Flight Sim Expo provided a stunning glimpse of the inaugural creation for the sim, the Piper Comancha 250. In a captivating 20-minute demonstration, the CEO, Scott Gentile, in a recent conversation with Tudor Murphy, emphasized the company's visionary methodology in developing lifelike airplane simulations. What's fascinating is that over the years, A2A has amassed a substantial following due to their commitment to authenticity. Now, with the recent enhancements to the sim, they aim to redefine the standards of realism by delivering unprecedented precision and intricacy in virtual aircraft models. Now, during the presentation, Squat dwelled into the experience of aircraft takeoffs, emphasizing the notable shift in sensations as the plane accelerates and transitions from the ground to the sky, which was very interesting. Now they went beyond flight dynamics, dedicated themselves by meticulously simulating the maintenance and natural degradation of a real aircraft. The team who's well known for high quality aircraft and scenery for x as well. Now they've showcased their upcoming Airbus A300-600 at the Flight Sim Expo again. This was originally released on X-Plane as a flagship product for Enables. The iconic wide-body airliner made its first flight in 1983 and remains in service with some operators today, including FedEx and UPS. For the Sims release, the exterior body have been completely recreated using a combination of 8K and 4K PBR textures. Now the team confirms that this will be a true-to-life complex airliner with a comprehensive system simulation, a realistic flight model, Navigraph and SimBrief integration, and a lot more including a custom WI sound set including authentic sound recordings from the real aircraft which makes it an interesting project. Now partnerships can up the game to an extent unimaginable. Leading the way in one of the most highly anticipated endeavors within the community, Hadeblast Simulations and IndieFox Deco are on good speed on development of the F-14 Tomcat. Now, ever since the initial announcement earlier this year, this project has been advancing rapidly and recently it gained significant attention through an accelerating video showcasing us the aircraft soaring through the skies of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, this project is still under development. The team's tireless efforts and passion are evident. Now, if everything goes according to plan, we might even witness the release of the F-14 before the year's end. On a project like this, there's absolutely more to follow.
Now looking at airliners again, the Boeing 757 by Bluebird Simulations is among the most captivating and eagerly awaited airliners being developed for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now since its unveiling last year, the project has evoked strong emotions among simulation enthusiasts who continue to build anticipation as the devs promise to give regular updates in the community on its progress. Now with the latest update, this includes a significant one, such as a completely rebuilt virtual cockpit responding to commonly asked questions. Now, the team mentions that the initial release will not incorporate rare scenarios or failure operations yet, but assures that the level of detail planned for standard operations is enough for any flight simulation enthusiast, including us. In the world of development, what's new this week? The Seri update was a great addition to the sim. Now we plan to cover this to an extent to really see the number of changes that have been dialed in. To refresh our memories, areas include Abilene, Austin, Cedar Park, San Antonio, Schertz, Temple and Waco. In regards to 2024, this is a topic that needs more attention to cover. But on a high level, there's so much to really explore and it feels like the sim is on the next installment who plans to have a purpose and as Hogg mentions, this would not be a game. I do believe the agenda is to offer us what we strive to really get from flight simulation and that's what's needed. There's more to cover on this topic by the way. Before we move to events, now last week we decided to have another round of giveaways. 10 lucky winners would get a chance to win some cool prizes. I'd like to thank you all for your kind comments. Let's roll out the winners, shall we? 10 giveaways today. The winners for 5 Seafront Simulations packs for Canary Islands are Scott Baird Andy 70D Rob DeVries Jay Hickman and Brett Robinson The winners for access to one month air manager packs are Squirrel Interactive YouWiki PZ852 TSF and Mark Baca. To all the winners, big congrats folks and discord me for more details, we can work things out. To the rest of the folks, we had 3 giveaways over the past 3 weeks, we're gonna have more in the future. Moving to events this week, the plan is to pay a visit to Canada. Yes, July 1st is Canada Day, to celebrate the national holiday of the Great White North. Our flying this week will be a trip along St. Lawrence River to the nation's capital city of Ottawa. We will depart from Quebec City, fly over some famous landmarks, finally heading to Ottawa for a full stop landing after flying past Parliament Hill. So mark your calendars as the event is tomorrow. Plus, join our Discord server. We have plenty of events and share the most updated news of the sim. On the line of freeware, let's take a look at a nice international airport here. An airport that carries loads of updates. The Cherusi Airport at Japan, RJCC in short. An international airport located at Cherusi, Hokkaido, Japan. It serves as a main gateway to the island of Hokkaido and is one of the busiest airports in the country. Now, this is situated approximately 50 kilometers or say 31 miles south of Sapporo, the largest city of Hokkaido an important transportation hub connecting Hokkaido with the rest of Japan and various international destinations. Now this provides a convenient entry point for travelers visiting Hokkaido, offering a range of services and access to popular tourist destinations in the region. So big thanks to the dev, Kapi, for this freeware. The link to both the freeware and the community events can be found right here in the description below. As always, it's been a true pleasure. Do subscribe for more. And until next time, do take care and happy flying.